So we are on Praise Rob. This is the planet that apparently Major Kyle's on. It's the only planet in the Century System I'm available to come to, so... That's the biotic compound. We have an anomaly and some debris on the way there. It seems like that's just going to be like the common thing through every planet we go to. So we're going to try our hand at going over these mountains like I did last time. Hopefully it works out. But man, I'm liking the diversity that we're getting going to each of these planets. It looks type, it looks cool, man. So like I said, it looks really cool. Like, I don't know why, but when I saw the landing on this scene for this planet, I got like a Doom vibe to it. Like Doom 3. Just looked like Mars. Imagine they did a DLC for that. That'd be crazy. Like a third person type Doom fighting demons and whatnot. I've always held high hopes for that, but I don't think it'll ever happen. Doom's primarily a first person thing. Come on, come on, come on! No, don't fall. Come on, Mako. See, this is what I mean right here. This is like the only problem. Now I gotta like gain the speed I need to get back up. Oh, that was a fail. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Let's fucking go. We made it. Oh, man. I thought for a second that was going to go down again. All right, we made it. So let's see what this is about. Discover this cluster of prefab utility shacks have a distinctly shakable look to them. A set of rover tracks leads away over the mountain ridge to the southwest. I don't know if that means anything, but let's see if there's anything in these things. I'm glad to see that there is no hazard, though. Kinetic exoskeleton, high explosive rounds. I wouldn't be surprised if I have less than, like, 100 items, because I have almost nothing left to give. Okay, my decryption skill's too low for that, and it doesn't look like there's really anything... ...in here? Yeah, there's nothing in here, so... Now I'm stuck on like that Prothean Globe. I'm thinking about that now. Like, how am I gonna do that? Like, I really want to see what the hell that means. All right, but now we gotta go over to the debris. Don't know if that's relevant to anything at all, but we'll find out, won't we? Oh, woo! Spiraling out of control. Come on, Mako, gain your bearings. Oh, now you know if this was like some Grand Theft Auto shit, we'd be long dead. Apparently, there's two anomalies here. Okay. Let's take a look at that, then. Ancient Debris. Recover. Turian Insignia recovered. Digging under the beacon revealed a piece of scrap metal likely from a very old freighter. It was marked on one side with the MacDean Outpost Insignia. All right, we got some experience. We got some money from that. And there's another one over here. What the hell is that? Can barely see that shit. Wrecked mining vehicle. The front of the rover is crippled from impact. A glance inside tells you the occupants, probably a team of illegal wildcat miners, are dead. Debris is still sliding down the furrows left by its tires, silent in the near vacuum atmosphere. Okay, so just some like information. Now I guess we got to go approach. Major Kyle, the whole reason we are here. Let's get it to the biotic compound. Okay, so apparently there was debris on the map that I completely neglected. I don't know why I passed by that. Crash probe and my electronic skill is too low. Now, this is the thing right here. Yet again, is there a way that I can get somebody? Yeah, I don't think I even brought anybody with electronic skill to do, but fuck it. It's whatever. Okay, so we have arrived at the biotic compound. This is where Major Kyle and his followers are at. Apparently, they call him Father Kyle now, if I remember correctly. From the little cutscene that I probably showed that Albert Hackett gave us a pencil on the guy. And there is also something on the other side up here. Oh, a gold deposit. See, do these, like, count towards getting all the minerals and stuff that I need? Hopefully, it does. Survey. Crazy how we have to do this to survey something. That doesn't make any sense to me. But we got some more metal, and of course some more moolah. Who can argue with that logic, right? All right, but enough bullshit. Let's go do what we came here to do. Heading 
I keep on pressing X to get out. I don't know why I'm doing that. I gotta stop that. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna end up going back to the Normandy on a mistake eventually if I keep doing that. All right, so how do we get in? To the place. Oh, okay, of course, there's a door. Duh. Let's put these new weapons to the test, shall we? This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. You really can't keep me out, but I mean, I'm here to talk to Kyle I anyway. To talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. Need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet. I'm just curious, real quick. I want to see. Where my paragons. Okay. Okay. We're almost done. We're almost going to that last block. Yeah, I already knew. There seems like a lot of hostile situations that I don't have to deal with because of my higher ability to talk to people now. So that's, that's great. That's something you should definitely upgrade if it's first time playing through. I didn't, of course. I was just like a shoot first, ask questions later type of guy, but now I'm seeing how I could have avoided all the drama. Although these are side issues that I never did, as you already know. Everything right here is kind of blind for me. So, like, we could have been coming through here shooting all these guys, but we don't have to. Because, like I said, I don't feel like getting shot today. <laughs> I said that, didn't I? Holding true to my words. These compounds all look the same. Biotic cultist. So this is where Caden could have ended up, you know? Maybe these guys are mourning for Caden like we are, who knows? You rude ass people getting in my way. Y'all better stop that shit. I'm gonna shoot y'all. So we just came up here, but no major Kyle. Kyle, where the hell are you, bro? You know, I'd expect it to kind of direct us to where major Kyle is at, but yet it didn't. Okay, it says control room is this way, so let's go over there then. I mean, fuck, that is the control room, damn it. Where the hell is Kyle at? We can't trust the Alliance. You know, Father Kyle says other humans are I would love to know what the fucking Alliance did to you guys. I mean, I have no idea. I can't speculate it, but I swear Kyle better have some good reasons for setting my ass out here because he's the reason why. Okay, so these people are all gonna say the same shit. They can't trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. You don't have to. I'm not here for y'all. I mean, I could be. I could slaughter you all right now, but that'd be renegade acting. We're trying to avoid making bad decisions with our lives, aren't we? See, all these fucking crates that I can't even, like, get into. Okay, so Major Kyle wasn't in there, so I'm guessing that we're supposed to. Yeah, see right there already. So this was locked before. Now we could go in here, because he wasn't in there. I went up and down that place like four or five times, so I'm glad we... Fuck, I did it again, man. I'm still pressing next, but yeah, I'm glad we were able to solve that really quick. Building? What building? Okay, so... These people are well-established. I will say that. I'm, I'm liking these scenes that we're getting right now. It's different. It's chill, it's peaceful, I don't like the fact that they're all rocking around with guns, but eh. It could be worse, because at the end of the day, like I said, I fucking hate biotics unless I'm using them. So I hate every single one of you, but, I mean, as long as you got guns in your hand, you're inclined to use those before you use your biotic ability. So I'll take that. I'll take that. Those other men from the Alliance tried to kill Father Kyle. That's nice, and I'm guessing you killed them first, because we haven't heard from them ever again. <laughs> That's what Admiral Hackett said, so, Yeah. I wish I could go back and like do the opposite of these choices because I would have loved to see how it would have worked if I just said you can't keep me out and then I just guns ablaze. Like how would we have even gotten in here? 
Yo, this place is really expansive. Okay, let's go this way first. Go off the beaten path, see if we find anything. Malfunctioning object, combat optics, shield interface. Is there anything else that... Okay, no, just a bunch... Oh, technician kit. Technician kit, technician kit. Shield interface, combat exoskeleton. See, I probably have doubles and triples now because of all this stuff that I'm picking up, but... I could always just, like... I don't know. I should probably start equipping some upgrades to my teammates. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. You can still get out of this alive, Major. Surrender and nobody will get hurt. I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins, too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the 5th Fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. You should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. That will help- They'll want to help dispatch a ship to take him into custody. Yeah, I thought there'd be like an option where because I almost thought about saying no. Like, no, you're coming with me now, motherfucker. You just, I don't know, you've done too many bad things. Too bad he killed all the people beforehand. But then again, I was like, I don't feel like dealing with like an army of biotics, you know, so... We'll do this the right way, so peacefully. He didn't look the way I expected him to look, to be honest. I thought he would look different. That was a bit of a twist for me. I thought he'd be like a casual white guy with blonde hair. I just got like that vibe from hearing his name. That's all Kyle's that I know in real life, so I guess that's my fault for thinking that. But yeah, we're about to bounce up out of here. Go back to Normandy. I'm probably going to cut this video off right here because I've been recording for a minute. I want the video to get too long, and I also want to get started on some new shit, so... That'll probably be the base of the next video, but go back to Normandy now. Okay, so we're back on the Normandy. I'm not sure. I think we have to go talk to Joker. We have to get Joker to tell the fleet to send a ship to go catch Kyle and all his little children. I like how Shepard actually leveled with him on that note. He's like, yeah, you and all your children. Your children this, your children that. I thought that was really cool of him. It's a very Paragon way of doing things. Okay, okay, so yeah, I don't think we need to tell a joke or anything. Let me just check real quick in the journal, because if so, then that might have just done it for me. Let me see real fast. Okay, well, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try going to the room where we talk to people, because if not, then I'm just gonna go to the galaxy map, because that's the only that's the only thing we can do. It's the only place we can go, but we'll see. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. 
We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Yeah, who knows? Maybe now you'll leave me the hell alone for a bit so I can just get the shit done that I'm trying to do and stop stacking me more missions. But yeah, guys, that's going to close out this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. When we come back, we'll be going around to a couple other places. You might get to Novaria. I don't know yet. We have a bunch of assignments we have to go to. I'm just going to jump from planet to planet and just spare you the small talk and the bullshit. So yeah, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys when we come back.